In Amor Fati, um, one would assume that there's some sort of acceptance of one's fate that has to take place as a precursor to loving it. You have to first accept it before you can love it. You have to accept it as your fate, as your lot in life. Uh, if you don't accept it as such, then I would assume that you don't believe that it is your fate. Um, or at least uh, the way that I would use the term fate. Fate being that aspect of your own existence or those aspects of your own existence that you have no, no control over. Um, you know, you, but again, you still have to choose to like or lump your fate. Now, even if you haven't made that decision yet, I think you still have to accept your fate. Um, accept that which you cannot change. Now, one could argue that, no, I don't have to accept my fate, but I would, I, would, I would sort of say that merely categorizing something as your fate implies an acceptance, because it's an immutable thing, your fate, that which you have no control over. Um, furthermore, I would posit the view that in order for you to uh, even use the term fate, you have to have some idea that your fate is identifiable, that you can actually grasp that which is not changeable, um, which in itself, if you ask me, involves acceptance. Because if you're going to act at all or make any decisions at all with regard to that which you cannot change, i.e. the milieu in which you have to operate, uh, the parameters in which you are forever bound, then you have to accept those as the parameters for which, from, uh, in which you are bound. So that's, in, in a sense, saying anything about your own personal reality or about reality itself implies an acceptance. It implies that you actually are able to grasp anything fundamental about the nature of reality. If you say that something is immutable, if you say that this is just the way it is, I don't see how you can actually say that without involving some form of acceptance. Now, I haven't thoroughly explored this idea, and this video is kind of a throw-it-out-there type moment where I was uh, hoping to get some objections to that idea, that just dealing with the immutabilities, dealing with the parentheses around yourself, dealing with... Um, the facts of life is, whether you like it or not, a form of acceptance. Um, otherwise, one would, uh, I, I would assume that it would imply that it's not unchangeable, in which case you don't have to accept that which is not changeable. I, I would assume that one would only accept that which would, one cannot change something that's out of your hands. Um, and I, I'm not saying that you accept it in terms of embracing it. I'm simply saying that you're accepting it in terms of an actual parameter that you are bound by.